Hey everyone, welcome to the Gamers Refuge. I'm going to talk a little bit about MMOs today, mass multiplayer online games. Um, it's not a real big secret that I'm not a big fan of MMOs. You know, I, mo I mostly prefer, you know, offline single player, you know, type games. Um, the reasons, some of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of MMOs is one, uh, the lack of immersion. You know, a lot of them just, you know, in my opinion, they fail to draw you in. You know, it should be a very immersive and exciting experience. And a lot of the MMOs that I played, you know, at least for me, you know, lacked that aspect. Um, another reason is a lot of the storylines, you know, the, the storyline main storyline missions and stuff you know, there's a lot of them that are just dull and some just just flat out suck yeah and you know, another reason is that there are a good many of them that require group participation in order to get through certain you know area you know certain missions or achieve certain things you know, at least that's what it's been in my experience. You know, in order to get through certain areas, it's far, far, far easier if you have a large group and damn near impossible if you're going at it on your own. Not all MMOs are like this. You know, there, there are some that you can solo very well in. But, you know, my experience has been more often than not, you know, that it requires requires a lot of group play so you know I'm the kind of person I like you know I like to do you know things solo for the most part mostly because I really don't have you know large amounts of time to dedicate to a game so it's usually like maybe an hour or so you know that's that's my gameplay time so kind of hard to get into a group and you just get going in something and you go oh, hey guys I gotta go you know bye and they're going what the fuck? We just got started, you know. <laughs> so, you know, that, that's another reason. Um, some of the MMOs I have played, you know, and not all of these have I actually liked, but I have played them. Um, one of them was Pirates of the Burning Sea. I actually did like that one um, back when it was actually good. <laughs> so, you know, it's it's a pirate game. I mean, you, you're pirates out in the uh, out in the Caribbean. Yeah, and they had a, you know, the thing that really drew me into that one, the story was, the story missions were, yeah, so-so. Yeah, they're okay. But they had a massive crafting system. Everything in the game, you know, that you could possibly think of, you could craft. You know, you know all the way up, including the ships that you sailed and fought with. That, to me, was just awesome. <clears throat> just awesome. So, but as with a lot of games through updates and then, you know, you know, your ship's getting nerfed and other things getting bolstered that, you know, didn't, you know, really help out the character that you're playing, you know, which I play, you know, in parts of the Burning Sea, you could play a pirate, of course, in parts of the Burning Sea, come on, or you could play what they call a net or national, which would... I think there were uh, England, Spain, and France. <clears throat> so, yeah. so you could fly your sails under the crown and hunt the pirates, or you could be a pirate and have to watch your ass against the the nationals all the time. So, but all in all, it was a good game until they screwed it up. Um, haven't played that in a couple years though. You know, I still have I still have an account with them. Maybe I'll re-download it sometime and see what's changed and maybe if things may have gotten a little bit better who knows but that's one of them um, another one I tried was perfect world and to be honest I really don't remember a whole lot about perfect world now I just remembered only thing I remember of it is that I didn't like it so I didn't play it very long so I really you know if someone's asked me a question about perfect world I'd just be <laughs> looking at them with a blank look going I don't know I don't remember I just I just remember that I don't I didn't care for it and 
to me, not a really big loss. I mean, if you if you're a fan of it, you love playing it. Hey, good for you. That's what that's what gaming's about. Play, find a game you like and play the fuck out of it. <laughs> but myself, I didn't care for Perfect World. Um, another one was Dungeons and Dragons Online. Uh, that one I sort of did like, and I've tried to re-download it onto my computer and stuff. And for some reason. You know, I got a pretty decent gaming tower, and you know, I go to start it, it'll act like it's starting up, crash, gone, and just over and over. And I've looked on Google, I've tried every which way I can think of to fix it. I can't get the motherfucking thing to run. But on one of my older computers, I did play it um, for a little while, and you know, it was, it was a pretty good, you know, MMO really. It was all right. Um, another one was Lord of the Rings Online, and that one has been a long time since I played it. But when I, from what I can recall of it, when I did play it, um, you know, it, it seemed like a pretty decent, you know, game for an MMO. You know, that and I loved the whole Lord of the Rings, you know, series and all that. So, you know, I'm a Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings fan to begin with. So, you know, and, and the MMO was, you know, as from what I can remember of it, it, it seemed all right. Um, another one was Star Wars: The Old Republic, and Star Wars fan, hello. <laughs> but you know, and that one, I sort of liked. It could have been done better, in my opinion. It just the difficulty you know, of the mission storylines as you're playing it, you know, starts here and then goes. <laughs> you know, so I, mean, I got a little ways in the game, but it just got to where, you know, I gotta go kill this particular boss or something, and I just could not take the motherfucker out. So after a while, I got frustrated with it, quit playing it. So, um, another one is Arc Age. I played Arc Age for a little while, and yeah. It was all right, you know. It wasn't great. It wasn't anything that really, you know, grabbed me and made me want to keep going with it. It had some things that were different, like um, like the glider. You know, that, I thought that was a really cool idea and stuff. Um, the trade runs was a you know it was a pretty cool idea too. But the main thing that got me was the damn glider. You know, you could jump off a fucking cliff, hit your glider. And just, just fucking, you know, glide down safely to, you know, land below or whatever. I mean, I've never seen an MMO do that before. So that that was like one of the really neat things about it. Probably one of the things I like the most about it. I mean, I'm not saying Arcade is a bad game or nothing. It's just, you know, I enjoyed it for a little while. You know, and I completed the storyline and I think by the time I was like level 32 or something, I mean, some people may have completed it sooner, some maybe later, I don't know. And it's just kind of like I'm sitting there going, okay, what now? You know, I mean, I could do, you know, there's the PvP aspect, but I'm not really big on PvP. Yeah, so about the only thing I, you know, that was there for me to really do was trade runs, and I got boring after a while. So, I'm not saying Arcage is a bad game, it's just not one of my favorites. And just not one that was able to hold me. You know, and you know, keep me drawn in. So, um, another one, of course, the mother of all, you know, MMOs, World of Warcraft. Um, I, I don't know if World of Warcraft was the first MMO. I'll be honest, I don't know that I don't know a whole lot about the history of MMOs. But I do know World of Warcraft has been around for quite a long time. And they are probably one of the most successful MMOs out there. You know, and people are still playing the living shit out of it to this day. So, you know, I did play it. Um, it was sometime after that expansion came out that had the, the panda bears and, and shit. And I recall a lot of people bitching about that. Um, uh, 
it was it was a, it was like shortly after the time where they allowed you to play for free up until level 20 and then once you get to level 20 of course if you want to continue you had to start paying the monthly fee or whatever I made the level 14 and you know I just quit playing it's just it didn't grab me it didn't pull me in it, to me it just wasn't immersive it just you know I guess, for lack of better words, it just didn't do it for me. <laughs> so, yeah, and again, I'm not saying WoW is a bad game. You know, it's probably one of the most successful MMOs out there, and it's what most MMOs would strive to be, you know, as far as their success. So, but, um, and, um, you know, yet another MMO I've played is, of course, The Elder Scrolls Online. That MMO, you know, this is a rarity in MMOs for me because I love The Elder Scrolls Online. You know, it's different from the single player Elder Scrolls games like Skyrim and Oblivion and Morrowind. You know, uh, a lot of the lore is still there with the lore books and all that, but of course, you know, I think some of the lore got fucked up with, you know, the three main, uh, diff you know, three main factions, you know, and then the three races in each faction and you know of course the the bullshit they pulled with it oh if you want to play imperial then you have to you know buy the imperial edition for twenty dollars more than what the regular game is going for so i mean you know you, you got all that trivial bullshit and stuff and you know honestly honestly i do think it should have all just be included in one big bundle you know, instead of being split into all these different types of packages, you should have been able to choose the character that you want in the faction that you want, including the Imperial class. It all should have been included in one, but, you know, you know, aside from that, you know, the game itself, you know, I really do like. I'm still, I'm still playing the hell out of it. But, you know, as far as MMOs go, I would say that World of Warcraft pretty much set the standard for MMOs. I mean, they're like, you know, as far as I can remember, they were like one of the first big online games that people, you know, just a ton of people went ape shit over. You know, they have a huge line of success, you know, with the World of Warcraft game and stuff. So, I mean, I, th I think every MMO wants to achieve that level of success. Yeah, you, know, you know, who knows, you know, in the future, I might give World of Warcraft another chance. I've heard they've had some pretty good expansions come out since the shitty Panda one. You know, which when I did play World of Warcraft, the, the players themselves on the game, about 98% of the ones I've seen that were talking about it, they all concurred to the same conclusion, they hated it. You know, so it was one of the shittiest expansions they ever did. I don't know. I played the free version, I didn't have access to all the expansions and stuff so <clears throat> I have no idea if it was good or not but most of the people did not speak kindly of it but now they got the I think there's been a couple of major expansions since then and from what I understand those have been awesome so you know who knows I might I might give World of Warcraft a chance again here in the future and you know see you know what's been improved what hasn't you know maybe I'll change my mind about it who knows? But <clears throat> but yeah, the the MMOs that I really, really have liked that I've played, one was Pirates of the Burning Sea, and basically because of the crafting system. Huge, huge, huge crafting system. You know, and the fact that you can go out to sea with uh, a ship that either you bought from the auction house or that you, you know, if you were a uh, I can't remember what they call it. It's the person that builds ships. But if you were a builder of ships, you could build your own ships, which you know I commonly did when I played the game. So you can take a ship that you built yourself out there and go take out a fleet of, you know, a fleet of nationals or a treasure fleet or you know just a merchant fleet. You know, if you had a strong enough ship, you're high enough level to have one of the really good warships or something, you could take on a whole fleet by yourself if you knew how to do it. You know, which I commonly did. And you know, one of my one of my best friends, you know, I used to play with him 
on there. He's the one that taught me how to fleet, you know, go fleeting solo. It was, you know, for the time, it was a fun, fun, fun game, you know. But as with all things, you know, nothing really lasts forever. <clears throat> certain updates are done, certain nerfs were applied. Yeah, they switched servers and stuff, and after that, it just, the last, my last memories of the game is just, it just went to hell. And it was really a shame. It was really a, it was a great game at one time. Like I said, the MMO that I probably like the most is the Elder Scrolls Online, you know, thus far. You know, of course, you got, if you got the Imperial Edition, you had the full ten choices for race. Otherwise, with the regular game, you had nine, you know, all the races minus the Imperial. <clears throat> but, you know, your character build and stuff where you could build the character and, you know, the different classes that they had. I think there are like four distinct classes or whatever. You know, Dragon Knight, Sorcerer, uh, Nightblade, and Templar. So those are the four main classes. And then, you know, depending on how you built the character as you leveled up through the game, you could put attribute points you know, into Magicka, health, or stamina, and then you had a whole list of abilities that you could choose to select and activate, and then morph as you gain experience with those. So you had, you, you have a vast variety of things that you could do with your character, and you know, and how you built it, and all that. And they do have a pretty decent crafting system. You know, you can craft your weapons, your armor, your your magic stabs, your bows, your shields, and all that. And there's there's just it's got loads and loads of content. So you know, even with just the base game, without any of the DLC, you know, it's you know, it's just a it's just a fucking massive game, and I love it. You know, so. Yeah, you know, uh, people's opinions on ESO will tend to vary. You know, some people like it, some people don't. Some people hate it, some people love it. You know, I just I have a blast playing it. So, you know, and uh, you know, not to mention, you know, ESO also has uh, some you know really nice mounts and pets and you know stuff like that. So, you know, unfortunately, your pets and stuff don't attack the enemies. That's the one thing I would like to see them change. You know, have like a pet follower or just even a regular follower, you know, like in the regular Elder Scrolls games where you had a follower that would, if you got in trouble, they would attack or whatever. I'd like to see them do that. But other than that, you know, ESO is a great game. I like it. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about some of the MMOs I've played and what I liked and disliked about them. So tell me in the comments down below, what MMOs do you like? You know, which ones do you play? You know, which ones... Do, do you think really sucked, you know, and why? So, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, if you have, you know, I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, you can catch me on Facebook. I'm the Gamer Star Future there. Smack the living shit out of that fucking like button. Make it scream, okay? Appreciate that. So, and as always, I appreciate everybody taking the time to watch my videos, and until next time, I will see you in the games.